All right, welcome into episode two. We are going to be going over the Master Buyer's Blueprint. You might have called this, I've heard this called a marketing blueprint in the past, and this is the foundation of any buyer's brief and any go-to-market strategies, understanding your buyers at such a deep level that you can speak to all of their pain points and um, their fears and dreams and desires and address the false assumptions and solutions that they may have tried or um, maybe thinking in their head. And so educating and creating content that speaks to that as well as um, your copy and your messaging. And this section of our um, of our book and our buyer's brief was uh, heavily developed in collaboration with John Benson when we were working together a while back on the Copy Pro and the Jasper integration. And so we spent a lot of time crafting these prompts that aligned with the marketing blueprint in the software then known as Copy Pro. And since then, um, John Benson, who is the billion dollar copywriter and the creator of the video sales letter, has created a software called Benson. It's B-N-S-N, getbenson.com is uh, our uh, partnership link that will get you to more information about what Benson is all about. But essentially, it all starts with a marketing blueprint that you can develop that speaks to the mind of a specific target audience as it relates to your product, service, or offer. And so I preface this section with that because um, John's uh, contribution to the development of this was uh, paramount and it could not have been created, um, this first section of our buyer's blueprint and buyer's brief without uh, that, that that working together with John. And I learned so much through that process as well. And this has by far been the most um, utilized section of our um, of any of our, our workflows or our recipes from inside of the Gen AI University community. And so I felt that, um, you know, just making sure that you are aware that there is a lot of deeper ways to go on the direct response copywriting side with this section just alone. And so if you are interested in really um, well-structured, built-out frameworks that are proven to convert and work for any sort of long-form copy, um, direct response copy, and utilize AI for it, then I would highly recommend you go into checking out uh, Benson. You can go to getbensn.com to check that out. And um, that's taking it a step further. But essentially what you're going to be seeing here within the buyer's brief in the book and the market sauce method is this is the starting point because we have to align AI and if we're using ChatGPT, if we're using another large language model um, like Claude from Anthropic, or you've got another tool at your disposal, then you know how important it is to feed the right context into AI to then get the right output out. So, or the best output out more so. So context in, better context in, and better focus the more likely you are to get better outputs. And so what you're gonna to do to start this entire process is start by copying all the relevant information from your website into a document or just copying and pasting it into, let's say a chat GPT thread so that you're giving AI context, you're giving it the knowledge that it needs to know and focus in on with all the other stuff that these AIs have as reference points. Focus in on your product, offer, service, brand, or campaign. And so once you've got that, then you want to start running the from the top down. The um, you're, you're filling out the user inputs. You're giving it your your brand information, your context. What do you do? How do you do it? The more concise you can get here with the directions, the better. And but experiment with it. This is not just something you can only try once. You can do this dozens and hundreds of times to kind of refine and go through this process and get better and better at the best context for you and the flow. But honestly. AI is very fast at doing this and taking a lot of the, the, the manual aspects out of parsing each one of these um, sections out. And so you can run this recipe over and over and over again and experiment with the outputs and put multiple outputs together. And I would highly recommend doing that, especially if you're just getting started with this method. Um, but it all starts there. So you want to start with the recipe and you want to start with the, um, the commands. Um, of the of the recipe and so that's going to start from the top down of the book and you're going to see in this part one of the buyer's brief when we're demonstrating the market sauce method 
that it's got your primary goals, it's got your demographic, psychographics needs, and all of the, uh, the different ingredients, and that's why I use the term recipe, it's because all of these different ingredients that are making up the individual person, the psychology behind their buying decisions, and it changes based on the situation and the circumstances that they're in. So every single one, and I'm not gonna go and list all of them out because you've got the book to, that does list all of them out. These are all things that you can run individually as well, from the dreams to the primary goal, to the fall solutions, to the offer reframes at the very end of this section and um, the offer targets. These are all things you can experiment with. So like any chef would be in a kitchen, you can experiment with these prompts inside of your large language model of choice. Um, I heavily use OpenAI for this and how we utilize it in our methodology, but we are also utilizing other large language models such as um, Claude and Anthropic, where it, we find it that makes the most sense, but it's constantly changing as to you. Um, you do need to, to practice working it into your workflow. And if things are updating in terms of the AI's capabilities and, and the next you know, level of uh, whatever feature that, um, that comes out after I record this, that you wanna integrate that into the mix. And so much of this is a, um, a you're, you're running this method, you're doing the buyer's blueprints first to identify this person. And then once we have that person really locked in and everything looks good, we wanna move on to the next section of the buyer's brief, which is gonna be our strategic and creator brief. And this is gonna help us take this buyer's uh, blueprint and funnel that into a complete marketing strategy that's gonna highlight and create the messaging and frameworks for the offer benefits, the features, and then otherwise, um, to targeting your marketing and your message to all those different segments. And so we'll cover that in the next episode.